Alright, Shalom Alamakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and then glory to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahushai, Baasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give them honors to the Possum Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect, as Jesus were in all truth, they were sincerity. And here today, I just want to tie this lesson the Millstones, which that is going to play a big part, you know. Uh, in the day of the Lord, man. you know, when the destruction comes upon America, you know, as, as well as other parts of the world, but especially here in America, man, this is the medicine for wickedness. You know, this is what Yahweh Bashmi Awashai have prepared in this time. You know, hey, it tells you that uh, this is also known as spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Which we know and understand that uh, dealing with those kingdoms, they also came with a judgment. So dealing with Sodom, fire rain down from heaven. How much more in this modern day Sodom? How much more that fire gonna be? You know. So matter of fact, let's start out with this in the book of Psalms, chapter seven. And I started at eleven. It says. The Most High judges the righteous, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. See, so the Lord Yahweh Hashanah Shah is angry with the wicked every day, man. You know, it's not like this man is, you know, just is like you. It's not like this man is gonna get away scot free. The Lord is seeing everything that this this man is doing, and he and he's he's doing it every day. That's why Scripture said. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. They thought they got away with this. This nigga thought he got away with the garden. Thought he got away with slaying Abel. And it had continually to grow all the way up until this time. We're at the height of wickedness, man. It says, if he turn not. See, if this man don't repent, which we already know, he, he, he ain't going to repent. Till let favor be shown to the wicked, he would not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he would deal unjustly, man. So faith was shown to this man. He got the artifacts. He got the relics. The proof that the scriptures are alive and well. And he's not going to turn back. It says if he turn not, he will wear his sword. See? He have bent his bow and, and made it ready. See? And what's this sword? This modern day sword, you know, is those missiles, man. It has been sharpened over the time, like over the, these uh, course of time, you know, dealing with just the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the atom bomb. It have grown, it have morphed, and it have upgraded. It, it gotten sharper. You know, it's more efficient. You know, that's why it, you now you can see why that time span of one hour of the destruction can happen. Because of those hypersonic missiles. You can see now uh, that this, this whole land mass will be covered in fire. You know, due to those multiple warheads, man. The Lord have gotten this thing ready. Matter of fact, like I said, it, it, it has been sharpened. It's, it, it's, it's more efficient now. But these, you know, this weapon is, is the... Uh, was going to appease the wrath of the Lord, man. You know? So this is Joel 2 and 2. It says, A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, see? As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, see? And that's talking about those thermonuclear missiles, man. Known as a great people and a strong. Why are they going to be great? Because it's going to be a numerous multitude of them. You know, and also... It said and strong because of the power, man. You know, you got the uh you had these these different missiles, um, the Satan too. They can just wipe out the whole state, man. You know. You got these, like I said, these these different hypersonic missiles, they 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 it, it takes from from uh from Russia to America gonna take 30 minutes, man. At that. As well as other uh, countries is going to turn upon this bitch, man. You know? But that great people in the throne is talking about 
those missiles, man. Matter of fact, uh, let's get that in the book of. Is that Isaiah 13? Bear with me. Isaiah 13. And. Yep, this is Isaiah 13 and verse. Verse um, 4. It said, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, see? <laughs> like as of a great people, see? So as you can see, and Joel just said, a, a great people and a strong. But in, in Isaiah 13, it said, like as. We'll let you know it's a um, it's a simile. You know, a metaphor is being used to, to compare those missiles to a great army, man. Because the Lord, hey, one, one of the titles, uh, you know, the Lord is the Lord of hosts. Meaning the Lord of armies, man. And we already know the end all be all for all the armies on the earth is dealing with those missiles. But who's behind it? Y'all by me, I was shy. You know? Well, it's going to be time where that number going to be called. You know? It says, um, like as a people of a great people, so like you, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms, a nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts. Muster of the host of the battle, so they let you know it's your house. Watch me outside that stirring is up because ultimately, what's part of the, uh, the intense of the Lord, uh, the intense of the Lord's heart is the destruction of America, man. And a big part of that, a big you know, part of it is going to be played out by the missiles, man. You know, so it says they come from a far country, see, from the end of heaven, see, because ultimately. These uh these missiles are gonna be shot into the ends of the world. Meaning they're gonna be shot to the western part of you know the world. Specifically America, man. You know? Specifically him in America. They come from a foreign country. Why? Because this place is on the other side of the world, man. It says um they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord. And the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land, see? So it's, it was ultimately the 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 the, the, uh, the mission is set up ultimately to destroy the whole land. So you're going to see why, you know, the scriptures call this place the lake of fire. This is what's going to cause it, you know, due to these missiles pelting this place, you know, because, uh, oh, you people... You full of grease. <laughs> you know, tell you the elements gonna melt with fervent heat. But what's the target? Where is the target here in America? And what's the weapon one of the weapons that's gonna be used? The missiles, man. The weapons of his ignition. You know, so let's go back Joel 2. Joel chapter 2 and verse 2 again. It says, A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. See, those missiles. It said, there have not ever been the light. See? Meaning, these, this, this generation of missiles, this, 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 uh, this host the Lord have, you ain't, you ain't never seen no weapon like this. You can't compare this to a damn cannon or the Gatling gun or anything you get. Ain't, ain't. Ain't nothing like this type of weapon, you know. It said, even with dealing with those atom bombs, they had not ever been alike. How much more now? It said, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. See, and that lets you know it. They ain't talking about literal people or angels. They're talking about those missiles. Because once they're used, that's it. They have done their job, man. You know? But as you can see, it said they have not ever been alike. So, meaning it, it was time that these, these missiles got upgraded. Just like you have different generations of fighter jets and tanks. Well, you got different generations of missiles as well. And we're in that time where everything is, it is in its fullness now. The Lord have prepared it. That's why I say he has made, matter of fact, let's go back to Job, I mean, uh, Psalm 7. You know, and we know that the destruction is not because of the series of events playing out on the planet Earth. Sedition among men, famines, pestilences, 
this chip getting a lot of momentum. You know? Then at the end of the day, the missile's gonna come, man. Because World War Three is brewing in the background, even though that's the and I'll be, I'll tell you that uh, you're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. See, you be not in trouble because the end is not yet. So they let you know the end, everything going to be kept out by the way it is World War Three. But it's, 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 it, it, it's a build up to it, you know, which we seeing it now, you know. So it's going back to Psalm 7 and verse 12. It said, if he turned not, he will wear his sword. See, so the sword have been sharpened. You ain't got no more atom bombs no more. Now you got the hypersonic missiles. You ain't got to fly over a land to drop it off. No. You actually just hit a button, you know, and boom, it's coming out the ground. Or coming out from a submarine. Or one of these mobile vehicles that have missiles, man. So the Lord have gotten this sword ready. It's sharp. It's, it's efficient. It says, he have bent his bow. And made it ready. See, so meaning what? When you bend your bow, who you got to be aiming at somebody. You know, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Second Edges. When you bend your bow, who you got to be aiming at somebody. You ain't finna bend. You don't care what you. You ain't, you ain't got to really be aiming. You ain't, you ain't purposely aiming. But when you bend that bow, that arrow is actually point somewhere. But who is pointing at? America. Let's get that. This is the book of, uh, man, let's see. Um, I get to the point. Second to 16, 13. For strong is his right hand, that bend of the bow. See? His arrow that he suited for a shark. See? They are efficient, man. And shall not miss. Why? Because ultimately, <laughs> it tells you that nothing is going to escape them, man. Nothing's gonna, you know, you got that, you got the destroying winds. You ain't gotta be about ground zero to, to be decimated. Just the, the, the aftershock gonna get your ass. You in a bunker, it, it's still gonna, if you're here in America and you ain't in a chariot, that's your ass, no matter where you at, you know? What well, says, shall not miss. It said, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, see? And what's the ends of the world? Really over here in America, man. That's the ends of the world. Here in America. This is where it was going to play out at, man. This is where that destruction, this is the venue the Lord have chosen to show his power. You know? This is that, this is that great wine press. This is the lake of fire here in America. But how is that going to play out? By the way, this World War Three. Those multitude of missiles, a numerous amount of missiles to hit this place, man. You know? So the Lord is aiming the, the arrow over here. Let's say it's going to be other parts of the world is going to get hit. You know, like such as the land of Israel. It has to be cleansed. Parts of China and Russia. You know, of course, they're going to get hit. But what a bulk of the missiles going to happen at? Here in America, man. You know? This is um, back Psalm 7 and 13. He had also prepared for him the instruments of death. See? Oh, uh, what's that? Isaiah 54. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Isaiah 54. And it lets you know this is the, we in that time, man. The so called white man is in power. The sword himself is in power. So you don't think this is how this place is going to go out by the sword? Oh, it tells you he's going, this man actually going to fall on his own sword. Why? Because his own technology overthrew him. The very same thing that got him into power is what's going to take him out of power, man. You know, so this is Isaiah 54 and 16. It said, Behold, I have created the smith, the blood, the coals, and the fire. See, and what's the modern day smith? These scientists. A nigga in a lab coat. Because he can. Is these uh it was, it was these scientists that came with, it was the Lord y'all by smell so I to put in their mind and say you know what let's see if we split an atom boom that's why you got the atomic bomb but now these motherfuckers smashing them together but it was the Lord that put the spirit on these scientists gave them the the uh, the information on that you know and now you see a nigga in a lab coat making a weapon of mass destruction but what it said, and read it again, it said, Behold, I have created the smith, the blood, the coals, and the fire. So it's your how about some outside taking full, full responsibility for this destruction, man. 
you know, for the weapons. That, that, matter of fact, continue on. It said, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, see? And I have created the waster to destroy, see? By coming up with these, Lord, when the Lord created the Edomite, you know? This, hey, man. But it was the Lord that made, that prepared this instrument. Even though it was set up for America to come into power, you know, and be so called this golden city and, air, you know, everybody be afraid to come against this beast system. But the very same thing that caused the fabulous 50s is going to bring forth the terrible 20s. Look, we happened this year, man. But the Lord helped prepare that instrument. What's that instrument? The missiles, man. So let's go back. Psalm 7. And, and guess what? The destruction is talked about throughout the scriptures. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. Because ultimately, it's a build up to this time. Yeah, it was certain things prophesied and how what was going to take place in Egypt. It was certain things that were going to happen and take place dealing with the Greeks coming into power. You know, uh, goddamn Antiochus and that nigga and Seven AD, but everything was gonna be ultimately be summed up in this time period right here, man. This is what everything's gonna come to its conclusion. It was gonna come into perfection, man. Here in this time right here, here in America, man. You know. So it's uh, this Psalm seven and verse thirteen. It said he have also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained of his arrows against the persecutors, and yeah, and with these missiles, these missile created got a certain city, got a name on it. It got a certain location that's built with the missile, you know. And it lets you know that's how by Shemal Shai, you know, dying every I and crossing every T's, man. You know, because it's not gonna be no place that's got a you got a patch of Washington that wasn't affected, no man. This whole land is going to be destroyed, man. It says, um, matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, continue on, matter of fact. It says, it says, behold, he travailed with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. See, this is the reason why the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Because of these things, your mischief, you know, your falsehood. He had made a pit and did it. And, and it's falling into the ditch which he made, in which we see in it now. This man, him lying, now he's been backed into a corner, you know. Oh, even like going back to the missiles. He actually dug that pit because it was, it was a certain ingredient to actually make that. And it got out. <laughs> it got out. Somehow the Russians got a hold to it. Now Korea got a hold to it. I ran. And, it, and it's been upgraded over the course of time, man. You know, so this man is in a pit. It says, his mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. And that violent dealing going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be literal, man. When the mills are coming down, oh, it tells you, matter of fact, we can end it off on this. Because, hey, the destruction is throughout the scriptures, man. You know? This is what we all been waiting on. The violent overthrow of this place. You know? I would tell you, the kingdom of heaven was uh, suffering violence. <laughs> you know? You don't think this violence is going to come back upon this nigga, man? You know? So, let's finish it out. No, it's like it's Revelation 18 and 20, I believe. Revelation chapter 18. And... I started at verse 20. It said, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. See? For the Most High have avenged you on her. And uh, those, those, the heavens with the apostles and the prophets, you know, the believers, have been anticipating and waiting on this since the beginning, man. Oh, it tells you even Enoch prophesied of the Lord returning. So and within that, that lets you know it was going to be destruction coming. Oh, when you say the kingdom of heaven is at hand, in a roundabout way, you saying that this kingdom is about to be overthrown. But how would that happen? It's gonna be ha it's gonna happen by the way of this destruction. But we we rejoicing, we in that time now. We looking up, you know, is because we actually see these things lean up to it, man. You know, it says, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, 
Thus with violence, see? Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all, see? So this is the place which is America. This is that place the Lord have chosen to show his power. And it's going to take place in the near future, man. You know, the instrument the Lord is going to use is those missiles, man. So yeah, I can... I hope the editor found want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Raka Kudas. I'd like to give double honors to the passing elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word and our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba Abba. Soon. Very soon.